Hi guys, if you click that thumbnail, you know where you reached. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am Oh Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to my show. Hello, beautiful Cancer Tribe. Every time I do this, I feel like I'm about to flash you. That's a little perverted. We don't do that on this channel. Anyway, this is going to be your year-end love review for my Cancerians. Hello, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, okay? If you are here, new here with me, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to that beautiful bunch of people that I call my marvelous tribe, then Al, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys being here. This is going to be what I call readings with a twist. If you look at that video I made for you guys, we're going to be examining the love energy that surrounds you. We're going to be taking five of the cards like we normally do, that which is going to be represented by the Rider Waite deck. We're going to be clarifying those energies with Morgan Greer. We're going to be getting our Romance Angel Oracle card um, like we normally do. And then we're going to be ending with a Lesson or a Blessing card, which is going to be represented by the Soul's Journey card. Um, Taurus got three. So if you are connecting with the Taurus, go ahead and watch that video. Uh, Scorpio, Taurus, and Cancer are being posted tonight. Uh, Pisces, hold on. Pisces, Aquarius, and where are we? Sorry, guys. It's like I don't even know what my damn channel is. That's Instagram. Gemini, Pisces, and Aquarius is already available, okay? This is going to be your last video for the new year. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Universe Spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and provide me with the love energy that surrounds my Cancerians. We're going to go ahead and put this down and revert over here i just tapped in and did a long meditation trying to tap into our energy um there was one thing that i did see as i was tapping in i'm gonna give i'm gonna give it to you straight cancer if you are still connected with someone who feels like they have options let his ass go fellas let her ass go period we're not going into the new year with people who are indecisive we are not going into the new year with people who does not value us the way we, we are supposed to be valued. That's no zodiac sign, but especially cancer right now. The north node of destiny is in our sign. People are going to be attracted to us and falling on our laps. Falling in our laps, on our laps, in front of our, I mean, literally falling out of the sky. Don't fall for the pitfalls. If you if you if you're vibrating at a higher level and you are here with me, Cancerian, you already know. I've read so many of you guys, my tribe. You guys really understand where I'm coming from, and you don't mind me uh, getting a little preachy and telling you guys, giving it to you guys straight, no chaser. Period, point blank. Whatever this reading says, you are gonna be vibrating and shining at such a higher level period people are going to come out what they say the woodwork okay that you didn't even know was jocking you like that they're gonna be jocking your fresh uh-uh get this sword baby get this sword set those boundaries yield this sword of truth and tell people they need to get out on the lay down they either gonna get on your level or they can lay down and you can step right past their ass okay I'm done. Show me spirit. <laughs> I'm just saying because I saw the seven of cups. No. Now, if this represents the options that you have, cancer, the same thing goes in reverse. Don't play with people. Don't play with people because you go, you're going to have too much power. And we want to use that power for good. It's like, um, uh-oh. This could be the one, cancer. You've already met the romantic partner you see. It's too much power. Okay? Stay optimistic about your love life. Unrequited love. Control issues. And deception. Now, this is what I'm picking up on. This is what I've been picking up on tonight. I don't know what this is about. 
but for the first time in a long time, you guys might have the tail of two spreads. If this does not resonate with you, book a personal reading so I can tap into your specific energy. I did see that. I'm not going to extend it. We're going to take it for what it's worth. Some of you guys, you met that person. But for some of you, I don't know yet. Show me, spirit. Cancer. I don't know. And don't be upset about that. King of Wands. I'm not necessarily a fan of him. Show me. Show me. You show up in your own reading, ready to rock and roll. You ready to rock? You're like, okay. Show me. I did see this in your energy. Ten of Pentacles. Show me. Cancer, please. Cancer. This death, baby. Transform transformative energy. I love it. Scorpio energy here. Show me. Two cards. King of Pentacles. We're going to keep that one at the bottom of the deck. This is the energy of holding back with the Four of Pentacles. Success is here, though. There is a victory. This is the tale of two spreads. The Six of Wands, a good marriage card. Um, also indicates someone that wants to unveil you or you're looking at something or someone as a victory. Yeah, I see it. Staying up at night, the nine of swords. This is being anxious. This is the thoughts that keep you awake at night. And finally, we do have the heartbreak with the three of swords. I saw it. I saw it going in. Um, I didn't think that it was going to be this type of reading. But we're not running away from this because we're very accepting of our circumstances, aren't we, Cancers? First and foremost, Spirit is telling you that you've already met the person. On one hand, now I'm feeling like there's been bullshit in the game. But I'm also feeling like the energy is shifting and there's going to be a complete tearing down and transformation of this particular relationship. I don't know yet. Let's go into these energies. So there's been holding back, like I stated, with the four of pentacles. Someone is completely... Hold on. I saw it. The unrequited love doesn't scare me. The deception doesn't scare me either. This is what the person is doing. Someone is not wearing is not being honest and i don't see sevens until i get the clarifying deck i don't see that energy of not being sure about you i feel like this is just not something that someone wants you to know about them yet the false self mask is on that person that's not on you now obviously if you're doing this then that's on you but no um this person has or you I don't know yet, but I'm, I'm feeling like this false self mask is this person you're connecting with. Um, albeit, there's some good stability here. Um, there is a need to move forward. There is a lot of passion. This person is a business owner. This person, um, it represents structure. This person is an independent, some type of independent contractor who you're connecting with. But this person does not want you to see. This person has to control shit for a living. So it's hard for that person to relent and let the control go because they're used to being in control. And when it comes down to their emotions, they hell refuse. I mean, they absolutely refuse. They're like, hell no. And that is what this, these two is the reason why. There's something, wand, please. I need like Vanna White. Wand, please. Anyway. There's something behind that mask that they don't want you to see. Could be past trauma, something from the past, okay? Um, as far as this unrequited love is concerned, I don't see evidence in the cards that this is not a situation where you guys are 
I don't see love. I see stability. I feel like you there's been there's not necessarily been a declaration necessarily of love, but I feel like no matter what the hell has been, there's a sense of being successful in this particular union. So this these are two totally different contradicting energies right here. So when I see this, and if I have to clarify unrequited love, I will. I'm just going to tell you intuitively what I'm picking up on is that I'm not going to say there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. What I am going to say is, is if you guys continue to miss the mark in communication, that's what it is. Now, in this bottom, I see a lot of sword energy. That's the person or you right now. I don't know, but I feel like this is the person, the energy that surrounds you. Someone has a heartbreak. Someone is dealing with it. Now, Cancer, I am not feeling like this is you. Um, but if you are, again, one of those individuals who um, have not been doing your full moon and your new moon rituals, then this could very well be how you're feeling in your energy. Um, Cancer, we have a lot of power right now, and we have to harness that power and use it where it's going to serve our higher good. So... Um, if you are feeling this way because of the unrequited love, then there's some work that you need to do. Hit me up for a personal reading. Um, I'm not resonating with this because I'm not going to accept it. Uh, as a cancer sun, I'm not resonating with this. But again, this is sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, I get two, two scenarios though. On one end, I don't feel like this is a lack of love. There has been not necessarily enough love being expressed. But I feel like the reason why is because someone wants to control, okay, wants to control the ship and will not allow things to flow. And the fact that there has been a holding back because someone is extremely afraid of losing something and completely focused on their finances and career right now they're not focused enough on this and this puts you in this particular state now clarifying deck will let me know whether there is a third party for some of you guys that could be what we're dealing with i don't automatically see three and think third party and i cannot stand when i hear things like that but whatever this is it's be you're being kept up at night by it and it's causing a shitload of anxiety, okay? Still and all though, I have to say there is a need to be successful with this person. We got good cards for forward movement here, okay? Your energy is that this person is someone who you can build and be successful with. That is the victory card, claiming victory and feeling very proud of this union. This is a really good card for moving forward in your commitment. This is a damn good card to confirm moving forward in that commitment with the chariot and the ten of pentacles. Okay. Um, so... Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, that is a person that makes a slow offer. This King of Pentacles will come through with the offer, but it's slow as hell, Cancer, okay? It's going to be slow, but, you know, we have to look at it for what it's worth. It's slow because it's a very practical offer. It's firm. It's stability. It, it's very stable. It's tangible, this person that you're connecting with has a shitload of passion about you. King of Wands. But when it comes down to being verbally expressive, mm -mm. so, you know, as I read this and explain each one of these energies to you, I feel like this is going to be a tearing down and the death of what has kept this stagnant. I really do feel like all of this, this unrequited love, this deception, death to that. I feel like death to Letty uh, to, of, of your king of pentacles wanting to control everything. It's going to come to an end. Okay. I want to make sure you follow, follow the storyline so far. You're completely prepared to move forward. Now, that's my energy. Cancer and Scorpio energy. You're completely ready to move forward away 
from anything that no longer serves you or had you in stagnant energy with this damn death card. You're accepting your transformations. The energy is here. Spirit is letting you know what you need to focus on. I do, 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 do feel like the way that this person operates, the way that this person um, presents their pinnacle to you, that pinnacle that he is holding, the way that he is holding is so close and is to his bosom, his chest and decide that he's not going to release it to you that makes you this is what he's doing he go he's going back and forth but it makes you feel this way and it puts you in this mindset okay so it makes you feel heartbroken it makes you feel like you have hurt feelings i don't feel like that's a heartbreak um i feel like it just makes you feel like he doesn't care about you or he makes it the way he moves is too slow for a cancer to understand. We need something tangible. This person has the capability of giving you something tangible and wants to. Okay? It's there. But it's just not going to happen when you want it to happen. There needs to be some transformations that happen first, cancer. Do we understand that so far? I'm going to go ahead and sip the tea. Let's get into this clarifying. There's a lot of passion. There's something. He looks at you differently than he looks at everybody else. You do something for him that has not been done. Remember, this is the romantic partner. But the way that it's going now, it's coming crashing down. The tower isn't here. This death card just lets me know that things need to change. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With Chariot and Death. Strong Scorpio energy for Cancers that are connecting with Scorpio. Cancer on Cancer um, unions, yes. Or this could represent any of the water signs, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, with the Six of Wands, the King of Wands, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to give you that happy life. There's two people in this card. Like I said, this person is going to give this, this, this same damn person that's right here. This isn't the tale of two anymore. This is the tale not of two people. This is the tale of two situations. The same situation that needs to undergo a huge transformation and be rebuilt. The tower isn't here, which means that... The foundation in which this is built upon is solid. It is. You just need to make some alterations to your house. You better move around, Cancer. You heard it. Okay. Um, Aries, Leo. No, sorry. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. Okay. So we have all signs on deck. We have everything that we need here. Um, so you are the magician when you have that type of energy. Okay. Clarify the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here in Cancer's energy? Two cards. King of Wands. All right. So for some of you guys, I am seeing it. The three. The three is here in the night. So this person has sex with people. This King of Wands... I have the three twice now, so I'm not going to not, I'm not going to not discount that there are third parties. However, this is past hurt. So there is a person that, that, that is from the past that this person hasn't let go. I don't necessarily think this means that they're cheating. But they're, put it like this, they're allowing their past to dictate their present with you. So they're passionate about you, but they hold back because of past hurts with this three of swords. Twice. Twice. Clarify the chariot. The hermit. You went within Virgo energy. You went within for wisdom and, and guidance to figure out what to do. And you came out with the chariot. You went in with the hermit. The seeker. You came out ready to move clarify this king of pentacles 
clarify the King of Pentacles here. Clarify the King of Pentacles. This is the reason why the four is here. Repair. This person needs to repair. Four of Cups, four of Pentacles. This person is not a, a big speaker. This person handles themselves in a way and comes off as if they're not interested. And in the past, this could have been the fact that they didn't show enough interest in the connection. But now they're ready to make an offer. They've been nursing that pinnacle for a long time. Don't get it twisted. The reason why they've been holding on to it so close is because of the three of swords. They are still holding on to things from the past cancer, which is... Um, in turn, dictating the way that they move forward with you. However, they see a future with you. You can't control somebody's past. You can't get mad because he has had sex with somebody who did him something around sex and passion. And he was left heartbroken. He got cheated on. When I say I have sex with different people or have sex with other people, I meant in the past. So if you heard that some seconds ago, that's what I meant. Clarify death. Clarify death. Yes. Moving away from things that no longer served you. That's clarifying death. That's beautiful energy. That's because in order for you to do that, that's you manifested the, the death card. You decided to walk away and mentally you're like i'm not i'm not holding on to this cancers we know we already know i'm not doing this okay so you've been hurt in the past so somebody cheated on you okay she didn't want you so because she didn't want you or he didn't want you now you wear this false self mask and show me the representative of the person who I fell in love with because you don't want to be honest. How is that my fault? Because you're trying to control the outcome. You're trying to manipulate the situation so you can control the outcome. How is that fair? So now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. This unrequited love is the heartbreak that this person feels. Now, for some of you guys, this is your energy. Cross watchers, if this is what cancer is doing, link it below. Link it below. Link it in the, in the comments. But I'm feeling like this is the person that the cancer is connecting with. And this person is your soulmate. This person is the one. Cancer, you are being guided to stay optimistic because of the, um, the energy that surrounds this person that you're in love with. Okay, there's been declarations of love with people, uh, water on water, water on fire. There has been a declaration for love. Go back and watch your top of the month. Top of the month was all this love is waiting for you. So the person that you're connecting with, if you connected with that video, if that vid the energy in that video resonated with you, what I am saying is, is the reason why this connection was stagnant was because of that. Look at the bottom, the lovers. Clarify this ten of pentacles. This this person's energy. Again, it can go both ways. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, let it skate. See? What's clarifying the ten of pentacles? What's clarifying the fact that I want a life with you? What's clarifying the fact that I know that I have been stagnant? I know that I have kept this pentacle too close to my chest because of my past heartbreak. Someone has cheated on me. And not just cheating on me, something surrounding some type of sex, something, maybe had a baby. Somebody did that. Somebody did that. And now I'm passionate about you. Things are great. Hella passionate. We have a wonderful connection. But I can't show you. I'm not ready to show you. I got to put my mask on because... I'm afraid to give you all of the love because the energy that that person left me in was unrequited. So how do I know you're not going to do the same thing, Cancer? But what's clarifying this, the fact that this person wants to give you this offer? What's clarifying it? The Two of Cups. Okay? That's what's clarifying it. So again, this card is in reverse. 
someone isn't feeling very nurturing right now. But there is a need for balance. This person looks at you differently with this knight. Um, <clears throat> nine of, of, of uh, pentacles. This, <clears throat> this person who you're connecting with looks... Listen. There is a strong focus on attraction here. This could represent the person that they're no longer connecting with. She could have been a queen of pentacles too. But she, but they're slowly letting that person go. Okay. This person was treated bad and in turn, they still have the habits and the toxicity and some of the behaviors to kind of curve how you feel. Let me say this really quick. This person looks at you just like the, the this like this person looks in this card. They love you. They love your style. They love that you're practical, that you're down to earth. You're slowly moving into this queen for them. The reason why it's reversed is because they got to let go of this heartbreak. This could be that other person, but I really do think with the fact that they are the king of pentacles, this is the divine feminine and masculine right here. So the reason why she is in reverse right now could be just the fact that the energy is that of this person being stagnant. They're aware of this connection. They have developed thoughts, patterns, and behaviors to mask themselves from the love that they did not feel in the, in, in the future. So they've developed ways to control situations to keep their pinnacle, their offer, their, their cup to themselves. To hold back with the four of wands. But you threw them for a loop. Because they make you feel this way. Because they they still are holding on to the way that they feel. That's what this is. And it's mental. It's mental. And that's what it is. And it's a cycle. It's about to end. Overall, they look at you as being um, very successful. Someone that they're going to make this offer to cancer. So... Don't let the smooth taste fool you and don't get caught up in someone else's ability. They see your worth. So if you were worried about how they looked at you, they see your worth. They want the offer. They want everything with you, but they have got to change. And it's here. It's coming. Cancer, happiness, baby. And that popped right out. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, baby. And let me tell you something. That's exactly what we have. That's beautiful. Beautiful. In the bottom of the deck, if we want to go one more, is peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And this is exactly what I did yesterday. So that's the reason why this doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me that someone that I'm connecting with um, is not wanting to let go of their hurt and pain. Because I have to respect the process if I love that person just like that person has to respect your process. So dig deep, take a step back, and understand that this person is coming. They're coming for you right here. And these are the only three cards that I'm focused on. Because these are in your energy and this person is coming towards you right now. Going to give you, Juan, please, Vanna White, is going to give you this right here because they know that they can be there with you. Okay? They're coming. Okay? Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy to, to end the year. That has been your reading. Um, please like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that it resonated with you. I am a couple minutes over on your reading. Um, thank you so much, Cancers, for all of your love and support. Thanks for making Marvelous Madame the, the success that it is. I look forward to infinite uh, growth, and I appreciate you guys rocking with me and reaching out to me the way that you do. I know I can take an extra couple minutes on your video because you really do vibe with what I'm saying and you listen. So, um this just made me think of my beautiful, beautiful subscriber and or client, Candace. Candace, this uh, reading definitely, I don't want to cry. This reading definitely summed up what we talked about. And all of what we talked about in your personal reading came out in this energy. Um, so, honey, you already know how I feel about you. I, you are such a beautiful soul. I love you all so much. I'm going to go ahead and get out.
Um, if you want a personal reading, hit me below. Um, I'm taking appointments in January for the next couple of weeks this week. And next week, I will not be doing level one through three readings. Um, I will not resume doing uh, 20, 40, and 60 minute readings, which is level one through, through three until January 7th. However, I'm still available um, taking uh, personal readings on the weekend. So go ahead and click that weekend special. This is your last video, Cancer. It's been an absolute pleasure. I can't wait to see what else we have coming up in 2019. Um, and I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. It's already Christmas if you are in Central Standard and Eastern. So Merry Christmas. And all of you guys, a Happy New Year. I'll see you here in 2019 back looking like myself, okay? Bye, Cancers.